Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is speciation, evolutionary development of all life, how a species develops into another species, its mechanisms over tens of thousands to millions of years. You won't live thousands of years, so you won't see one species change into another species. Life in all forms developed on this earth there are only real, R-E-A-L, real processes, no God. All living beings came from parents before them, biologically. Whether sexually or asexually, life at its base came into existence from 16, one, six, 16 base chemicals and six augmentary chemicals of dirt, water, air, also from sunshine, electromagnetic radiations, heat, etc., and sound, acoustic form, etc. Some say it's 10 to the 14th power to 1, 100 trillion to 1, that is, 10 to the 14th power to 1 against, against evolution occurring on this earth. The chances for, F-O-R, for evolution occurring on this earth is, in fact, 10 to the 241st power to 1. Developmental evolution is how life got here and how, how it stays here. Life on its own. Life is on its own once again. You are on your own. The human race is on its own. You are, you are the species either survive or not. There is no God in this. You have natural morality and natural ethics already. You have been poisoned by social insanity. There's only one thing you need mentally, the truth, the facts of how things are. One problem plaguing humans about evolution is their ignorance of the processes. Another problem is humans destroying human knowledge outright, then indoctrinating children and adults into religious and political, impossible to substantiate, empty assumptions, lies, deceptions, and empty false beliefs. How did all of the species over the past hundreds of millions of years to today become the species that they are? This will be answered. As an individual, as an individual cannot live for a thousand or a million years, but you can figure out how this happened in your lifetime. The extreme complex processes which species came to be with evolutionary knowledge falls into 16, one, six, 16 major categories. Each category independently produces species from other species on a world ecological scale. Now, to begin, I'm going to move the camera. Hold on, please. Now, let's continue. Evolution of life, evolution of species, the mechanisms and evolutionary processes by which and how one species changes into another species over thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years of geologic time. To continue, sexual selection, not, not speciation, but sexual selection, biology and psychology of each individual of which natural selection arises from preferences of male and female for such characteristics and abilities such as resources, physical build and attraction, social abilities, safety, love, and nurturing abilities, etc., for each other for reproduction. To continue now, speciation, the processes by which a species' genetics unlocks and then relocks 
to become another species. Over thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, several millions of years, tens of millions of years, hundreds of millions of years. Speciation, once again, is the formation of new and distinct species in the course of developmental evolution. The demands of new environments and new individuals differentiate a new species from its ancestors. And to begin the, 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 the means of speciation, number one, allopatric speciation. When one species separates into two groups that are isolated by physical barriers, such as mountains, deserts, etc., and cannot interbreed for tens of thousands or more years. Number two, heteropatric speciation. When, when reproductive isolation increases between populations as a byproduct of adaptation to different environments, enhancing breeding allopatry and allochrony, despite and in spite of sympatry of migration cycles. Number three, polyploidic speciation. One of the most important forces in plant speciation and general evolution. When extra chromosomes or fewer chromosomes of an individual or individuals develops and viable interbreeding don't occur and isolation occurs. Number four, hybrid speciation. Hybrid speciation. The hybridization between two or more distinct lineages that contributes to the origin of a new species. Number five, reproductive speciation, a condition of speciation wherein groups of actual or potential interbreeding between many natural populations of which were once isolated from other groups. Number six, chromosomal speciation. When suppressed recombination or chromosome rearrangements acts as a genetic filter between populations. Mutations cannot flow from one population to another, whereas genetic exchange will freely occur between collinear chromosomes. Number seven, sympatric speciation. When a new species is from a surviving ancestral species, there are no physical barriers, but there is new weather forms, new food sources, new terrain and geography, etc., but no physical barriers. Number eight, parallel speciation, where repeated evolutionary development of reproductively isolating traits by the same mechanisms occur between closely related species inhabiting different environments. Number nine, cladogenesis speciation, the splitting of a lineage into two or more species. Number 10, founder speciation, occurs when a new population is established from a small population of individuals, which is from a larger ancestral population, greatly favoring rapid genetic changes. Number 11, prezygotic speciation. This takes place, which takes place, before fertilization occurs between gametes and prevents different species from sexually reproducing. Number 12, post, that means after, post zygotic speciation, describes the barriers that exist to stop interbreeding between species, resulting in viable offspring. This is a mechanism that keeps species distinct. Number 13, reinforcement speciation. This is where natural selection increases reproductive isolation between two populations of species against specifically hybridization. Number 14, ecological speciation. Number 14, where barriers to gene flow ecologically evolve between populations as a result of ecologically based divergent selection between environments. The environment itself is being naturally selected, not necessarily the species. 
Number 15, artificial speciation. This is the production of a species or species in the laboratory or field by humans, a danger to the human race, not nature, for this is also a part of nature and are also a part of speciation and natural selection. Number 16, our last one, parapatric speciation, a mode of speciation in which a new species is formed from an isolated peripheral population, a sub-mode of allopatric speciation. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and please share this video and subscribe, of course, and have a fine day. And this is how species is changed from one form to, a, to another species. You have just witnessed what has taken a hundred years, more than a hundred years, for human beings to learn about the real world. Now, thank you, and have a fine day once again.